Hey Capricorn, um, welcome to the channel. If you are not a subscriber, it would mean the world to me for you to subscribe. All right, um, I'm a new channel and your support means the world to me, okay? Um, this is a singles read, personals only, not for people who are separated, not for people who have somebody on their mind. This, this is for somebody who hasn't had any person in their life for a while and you are just wondering what your future love looks like. Um, when's it coming in? Um, all those good things. Okay, so this is a six card spread. It's not going to take too long. We're just going to zip through it. Wow, your cards are Jesus. Three, four, five, six. We have our six cards. All right. You had seven cards come out, but I'm putting one back because it's a six card read. But let me tell you, every single card here, Capricorn, is awesome. All right, so you um, <laughs> might have want somebody else came in with that same position. Um, that's you. Oh gosh, what sign was it? I wish I knew the sign because then I would tell you, go look at theirs because you're probably going to meet that sign. All right. King of Pentacles. So you have the Knight of Wands, Three of Cups, King of Pentacles. Um, King of Swords, the Chariot, and the Magician. Okay, so your future true love is um, a very good looking person. They call this the player of, uh, I think this was uh, Scorpio. I think Scorpio had this Capricorn. So they had it in the same position. Um, and honestly, I think they had, oh my God, I, almost, I wonder if they had all three cards or, I don't know. Okay. Anyways. All right. So <laughs> Capricorn, you, um, this is called the player card, the one that's in and out, but not Capricorn's Knight of Wands. Capricorn's Knight of Wands is a very good looking person, man or woman. They are full of passion. They could be younger than you and they are passionate for you. Okay. This person is probably wanted by other people. Um, a lot of people, they might be popular, um, but good looking, yeah, all right. Will the attraction be instant? Hell yeah, because you have a Knight of Wands and he is phenomenal, probably in more ways than one, all right. You guys are gonna be very, very attracted to each other. Um, and I do feel like it's going to be instant because those that king and that queen and that knight of wands, they're all good looking people, right? So um, what, what, the, what will the person be like? Um, not only are they going to be attractive and full of passion, but I feel like they're going to have their shit together. Um, they might be younger, but they might have an older, um, uh, uh, more mature uh, way about them. They might have a more mature presence. They know they got to pay bills. They know they know how to take care of their life. Um, they are financially stable. And even if they're younger than you, they're not relying on nobody else um, for help. You know, they are financially independent. They are financially free. Even if they're not completely free from, you know, burdens and debts, they know how to handle their business. All right. So in the challenges um, position, we have the King of Swords. So I feel like... Um, you know, with the energy of the challenge, I feel like you just need to make sure that you are open to receiving this person because you might be used to a certain type of person. Um, I feel like this person is going to be completely different. You, um, I'm sorry to say, but if you've been damaged in the past, I feel like, you know, you need to realize that not everybody is like that. Not everybody is going to be that type of person that you've dated in the past that might be narcissistic, you know, um, doesn't care about hurting feelings, um, kind of selfish in the way that they talk, or maybe um, you, you've you just experienced people whose words don't match their actions, you know, um, and, you know, to help get you past that is just going in and releasing those people in the past that may have hurt you, the narcissist, the people who have um, just letting go of that. 
letting go of any and all negative energies that didn't serve you. Like if you've been through one narcissist, through one narcissist, through one narcissist, it's knowing that not every person is a narcissist. There is the person that is all the all around, um, like just badass boss, you know, not all people are, uh, got to be, you know, like you met that, that guy or that girl, it's got to be loud. Everybody has to have their eyes on them or they got to be the focus of attention. Not everybody is like that. And you just need to release those energies that you might be remembering. Just release them. You know, when you release those energies, those memories, they stop coming around you. All right. So you just need to ask for, for guidance, um, pray about it, meditate about it. Just release those memories of the past of how you've been dealt with in the past. And then you will have this, all right? The universe wants to send you this. They're just waiting for you to let go of that past energy of maybe thinking that every single man or woman is like this because they aren't, all right? And I think that you know that. So when, where, or how will you meet with the major arcana I've been projecting within a year? So nobody wants to hear that, but you know, two within a year. So it could be sooner, but you need to just make sure that you're releasing the negative energies that aren't going to serve you or this relationship, because you don't want to accuse your king of pentacles of being a king of swords, right? You don't want to accuse them. You don't want to misunderstand something that they say, because that's what you're used to. And then you blow up at them because you're interpreting it like you did when the narcissist said it to you, right? So you're going to move past that behavior and just realize that no, not everybody is not everybody's like that. Not everybody's the big mouth. Not everybody has the alligator mouth and tadpole ass, right? Not every guy or girl is like that. I've had my share of my own, okay? And I even got that saying from one of them. And, you know, <laughs> every time that person said that, I always wanted to say, that is you. You're talking about yourself. Alligator mouth and tadpole ass. Like, that's you, narcissist. <laughs> But anyway, I'm not in that uh, negative energy anymore. I've released and, uh, and uh, forgiven myself and healed myself, you know, and that's what you should do too. So um, within a year, God or the divine or however you believe just wants you to release um, the feelings of the, the past. All right. Um, it could be I'm, I'm feeling outdoors. It could be um, we have any sign. It could be earth sign. It could be water sign. It could be any sign. So I, I don't want to give you that. But next week when I come back, I'm going to do um, initials, uh, features, and then um, signs. Okay. So again, Capricorn, if you've enjoyed these messages for the singles, um, please comment, like, subscribe, 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 please. And thank you. All right, we got your uh, messages from the universe, and the first one out is, my future is glorious, and it is because you're going to be dating not only the king of pentacles, but he's going to be the energy of the knight of wands. I now live in a limitless love, light, and joy. All is well in my world. It will be because you're also manifesting it because you're the magician. All your positive thoughts, the universe is going to send to you. I am in the power process of positive change fitting I am unfolding in fulfilling ways only good can come to me I now express health happiness prosperity and peace of mind fitting I love this so Capricorn those are your messages from the universe um, I hope you guys have a really phenomenal week and I will talk to you later love you bye